Welcome back to Tech Research in YouTube channel. So today we are having the news regarding our Ryzen RX 7900 series and more nice news. So first of all for today, Ryzen 7000 non-X desktop GPU is expected to launch when it's at is been reviewed and it's going to be on shelves on 10 January in three flavors and it is going to be unveiled at CES and they are going to be Ryzen 9 7900, Ryzen 7 7700 and Ryzen 5 7600 and it's a, it is a non x cpu so you know what to expect like they are not that much overclockable but you know you know when you compare it at to 55000 series when you overclock this non x variants it can be as powerful as that of x variant so it's clearly on par with x series and do not like it's going to be launched in cs so it's in a month or so and we also have the pricing for it like Ryzen 9 7900 is going to be rated for 429 bucks and it is going to be 12 thread 24 core 24 threads 12 core 24 thread 7700 is 329 while Ryzen 5 7600 is going to be 229 which is far less compared to what Ryzen 9 7950 x 17 x series were launched for but given the fact like they are 50 to 70 bucks less they should give the same performance but even though in the sale and stuff like that they are going down in price so maybe right access can get low pricing when this launches or maybe they won't even stay at the same price but what we can say we just it's just like matter of time when we know what's going to happen but it's nice to see and along with it from quick squeezer zone we know like price hasn't been done yet because they share three exclusive Zen 4 3D and 4 like 3 Ryzen 7000 X 3D model is confirmed and it comes with 16 core, 12 core, and 8 core. But about 8 core model, it didn't it didn't determine whether the name is key will be Ryzen 7700X 3D or 7800X 3D. So yeah, but Ryzen is going up in core power, which is nice to see with its 3D model. Like and unlike Zen 3D, clock speed will be the same or at least almost same. So it is nice and along with it it is expected to launch around january 23 which is a surprising thing to see like it's going to launch on in cs and cs they are launching 7700 series at x3d which is a nice thing but at the same time it is a bit weird like they are launching so many cpus but and um, this twitter video said like all the x3d parts are 170 watts which is a very high but if they are 170 watts they can have instant performance s 7900x is 170 7900x or 7900 7950x is 170 watts cpu cpu and it has instant clock so it's not to be recommended but at least they are not going high in voltage which is a nice thing to see but let's just hope that these are high performance because 5800x 3d was very high in performance in performance so yeah pretty nice Along with it, we have some nice things like RTX 4080 has gone down in price in, in Europe as of now, mostly in Germany, but in Europe, yeah, RTX 40 series because Europe has black tax, value added tax. But as you can see on the screen here, RTX 4090 is said uh, 4080 should be 1200 bucks, and there it is retailing for way less. Maybe it's because of Euro is gaining value on US dollars, but we still don't know. But it's a nice thing to see for the future, like it will be increasing pricing or going low in pricing. So, yeah, pretty nice. And we know like scalpers are struggling to sell that RTX 4080 above MSRP, and and it's pretty messed up situation. But it is what they get for taking all of the GPUs when it was available, not that available. But and it might be direct competition to RTX RX 7900 series because 7900 is going to be launching in few days. It, by the video by the time the video is up maybe it had already been launched but yeah it's pretty nice along with it we have the pricing for rtx 4080 when you compared it to the previous pricing so rtx 4080 when it, it was launched for 1469 euros but now it's 1399 so 60 euros less 60 say yeah 60 euros less and 1490 was launched for 1949 whereas right now it's going it's going on for 1859 so it's 100 bucks less so overall you get insane price drops even though they have vac so it's pretty nice 
so maybe in the future we will get reduced pricing for rtx 4080 and haroku gates twitter user has said like rtx 4080 will be adjusted pricing will be adjusted in mid december so it uh, might be to hop on support from of rx 7000 series but the source emphasizes that the price cut is enough to add in a three but for its own consideration prices approximately reduced to improve price performance ratio and stimulate states because rtx 4080 is not going to be like that it's expensive and the performance to price ratio is not that good in rtx 4080 as you as in the case of rtx 4090 so they are adjusting the price which is nice thing to say let they should just go it for 1000 bucks maybe less 900 1000 rtx 4080 it's a nice thing to say because rtx 4080 performance it's good compared to rtx 3090 but it's not that good unless you are unable to deal with 3 so yeah along with it we have news regarding rx 7900 xtx and its first overclocked rx 7900 xtx oc model and it comes from asus stuff and as you can see on the screen here is asus stuff to your rx 7900 xtx oc and it is what you should expect like it come with overclocked edition and it comes with 24 24 gb ddr6 memory and uh, it has some high frequencies compared to what XTX is satiated for because it comes with 24 GB. It comes with 24 GB DDR6 memory, which is to be expected. Along with it, its memory speed is 20 GB per second. The same processor is 6144. But the engine clock, the OC model comes with has some changes to it. But the recommended PSU, it comes with three 8 pin power connector, and the recommended PSU is 850 watts, which is similar to what. AMD has shown up, but here you need three, but not two. And OC model comes with up to 200 and 2650 megahertz boost clock and 2455 camp clock, which is significantly higher than 2.5 gigahertz on reference card boost clock. And I think it's 2.4. It's 2.4 or 2.35 gigahertz camp clock, which is also high compared to RX 7900 XTX. Reference card, yeah, it's 2300, so it's technically like 155 megahertz higher on game frequency and almost 100 megahertz higher in boost frequency, which is a nice thing to see. And we know like RDNA3 is designed to go up to 3 gigahertz, and this slide is official, like it has been tweeted out by various times, and it has been officially from AMD itself. So it's official, like it can hit 3 gigahertz. So there might be something in the development. Like RX 7990 XTX to compete like RX 4090 and 4090 Ti, which will be launched in the future, as this architecture is designed to go above three gigahertz. And Red Gaming Tech has also, and I already made a video regarding Red Gaming Tech's claim, like it will have a CPU, GPU with that goes to to 3.3 gigahertz. So let's just hope and see. But it's pretty nice, given the fact like RX 7 7000 series is pretty high. Of frequency as of now, and if it like goes above that three gigahertz barrier, it will be nice to see on stop. In hot on stop, like even on boost, it can go at that frequency, which is which will be a nice thing to see. So, yeah, that's pretty insane. So that's it from me today. What do you think about it? Just sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.